Dog ears are a myth and puppies are middle age according to scientists? What? Get the scoop in this video and get a dog that licks you. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, click there to subscribe. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. So some smart people at the University of California have gone ahead and done some DNA studying, looking, looking at the cells of these guys. Let's call Pipster an adult. And let's just for argument's sake, Let's call a little Tula just a little puppy. Maybe you're all about, I don't know, let's say you're like four months of age. But they're saying this whole like, want your dogs aging, you know, one dog years is equivalent to seven human years. They're saying that's like, that's completely wrong. So that means my, you know, what I thought was like middle-aged adult, maybe she's really older. And my little young puppy, little Tula, all of six months, she's not, you know, what is that? You're, you're not three years. They're saying she could be like 30. What? No way. You're not 30? Look at you. Ugh. There's the young puppy. Okay, so what's the scoop? So what these researchers in California did, they looked at the DNA of these guys. 104 Labrador Retrievers. The DNA changes as cells mature. So they are able to look at dogs as young as four weeks, up to 16 years, looking at their changes in their cells and their cellular DNA. And based on that, based on those corresponding ages of the dog, you know, assign an equivalent age in human years. And the results are far from what you'd expect. They're saying that when the cute little puppy Tula here is to turn two years old, she's actually 40. Like, no way. They're saying that when cute little Pipster was three years old, she's 50. Like, no way. You are 50 at age three? Uh, I find that hard to believe. So if Pipster were three years old, they're saying, and she actually could be three if you look at her. Good girl, yes, you like to lick me too. They would say that she's like equivalent of a 50 year old. Okay, now oh, look at me, now I'm 50. Wrinkles, you know, weathered skin. Look at the back of these hands. That's a 50 year old. Pippi, look at those. There is not a wrinkle in sight on you. There's no way you're 50. And that would be if she's three, but she's older than three. She's eight. God, let's put you at 104. <laughs> But as you guys know, scientists are seldom wrong, are they? Yes, that's a little bit of tongue in cheek. Clearly they are wrong about many things at different times. But in this situation, I think it's some pretty valid research. So as far as, you know, age wise, then what they're saying is that by time a dog is about the age of 10, PP I think is eight, they're saying they're about 68. So what, what they're saying is that our dogs are aging much faster earlier on. But then all of a sudden this really plateaus out, so it really slows down. So they don't, obviously they're not aging the same way we are. So then they're saying a dog about the age of 12 is about 70, which is about the average human lifespan. So I mean, that would put Pippi and Tula about 60-ish, which, do they seem like 60 year olds? I don't know. You, she seems more like a puppy, as does this thing at times. Hmm. Clearly, it's about your attitude. It's not about that number. Regardless, though, it's some pretty interesting research and, you know, it may sort of modify some of the ways how we're approaching dogs at a certain age and, you know, looking at some of these age-related diseases as, as we compare them to people. So what does this then all mean, you guys? I know we've got it all wrong. It's not one every seven. Sometimes we sort of modified veterinary-wise. I used to say it's like... A little bit slower than that, more like one every five, one every seven for a large breed. Obviously it's not the kind of acronym we once thought. Things are gonna be a lot different. Does it mean anything different to how you feed your dog, how you treat your dog, what we do with your dog? Tula, Pippi, do we do anything different? Probably not. Hmm. So there is another interesting and fun fact thanks to Dr. Jones. AKA me and YouTube. 
Okay, thanks Pipster, thanks little Tula. And how old is your dog? Well, I'll put a little formula underneath the description box. And according to these scientists, that really is how old your dog is. Who wants a treat instead? Yeah. Okay, this I don't think changes with age. Hmm, who sees a cookie? Pipster, Tula, all right, here. Big one for the Pipster, little one for, good girl, Tula, there's your cookie. Good girl, and there's the Pipster's cookie. Good girl. No, Tula, you're sitting on it. No, it's right beside your foot. No, no Pipster, don't get it. Ah, here, Tula, Tula. Mmm. Good times at the Jones households. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets of Dog Years Being a Myth. Yeah, I still have kind of a hard time believing it. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to click somewhere up there to subscribe to my channel. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.